In the new strategic plan of the United Church of Canada for 2023-2025, it aspires to live out bold discipleship, daring justice, and deep spirituality. There are also six objective streams in the vision and call of the Church. One of these is the growth objective stream. It is focused on three particular goals. Number one, growth activities among existing communities of faith. Number two, growth activities among marginalized sectors to create new communities of faith. And number three, effective communication to the public of the spiritual vision of the United Church of Canada. This is not to say that growth hasn't been happening in the United Church. Welcome to Bedford United Church, located in the southeast corner of the Greater Halifax area. Built literally on the bedrock of the Bedford Basin, their values are built on valuing community that emerges out of respect, deep listening, openness, compassion, generosity, and a spirit of joy and fun. These shape their intercultural journey and witness as they aspire to step into an intercultural future whose promise continues to shine bold ways of being together in love and justice. In this video, this community of faith invites us to hear their stories on how they are engaging in bold discipleship, daring justice, and deep spirituality. The previous minister, David Hart, who's retired now, uh, one night on a Thursday night, he was walking home and walked by Alvisu, which is 200 meters from Bedford United. So he stopped and said, what's going on? Uh, from there, he had a good relationship with the Imam at that time. He used to get together for coffee and talk about life in general and some of the issues of being a minister in a different religion. And then Canada 150 came up and was planned and the city wanted businesses and organizations and stuff along the Bedford Highway to do something in celebration of that. We came up with the idea of why don't we do an interfaith service with Al Rasul down the street. It was very special. Um, you could feel the energy and the smile and the acceptance in the room. From there, we broke and we form a humanist chain from here to Al Rasul. People celebrated along the street, uh, and then we had lunch at our Rasul. This was during Ramadan, so they were fasting, and we said, we can't do that, and they insisted on it. A year or so later, we did a survey of what's special about Bethlehem and the church. The thing that was most quoted was that day, and that day was the beginning of a, of a relationship. saw a need or a like faith gathering and then there were some families around us who were looking for um, you know like a place where they can gather and share their life and also um, talk about Jesus and also um, to hear English so we gathered and we, we started to sh like do a Bible study and also you know uh, in English and yeah. also in Korean. In this day and age where so many of us are thinking about, you know, churches that are struggling, that are having difficult times, we forget churches are also being born all around us. And to hear that organic story of, hey, we're here, we came together in a Bible study, and then it moved to this and that. It's just beautiful to hear the spirit moving for Lois and her community. And so if we could play a role in that, uh, that's what we're about at Bedford United. They see themselves as part of one great tapestry of humanity. United uh, Joint Service. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so our praise team, mainly like youth and also some adults, we were hmm. leading the praise and then, yes, it was so beautiful how uh, we were able to come together and mm -hmm. they were really thankful to hear your message and it was very welcoming, it was very yeah, inclusive, yeah. But very loving. So we were very inspired by that and mm -hmm. we were very thankful. Y'all had to be there to see this praise team, but like 
in the United Church, we worship in our head and in our heart a lot, but not so much with our body. We're a little bit more reserved when it comes to what we do with our bodies. But Bloomin' Church came in and they had us dancing and we were, it was like TikTok up there. And it was great because people really got to experience something completely different. And they got to hear a different language and the richness of that in worship. And it, that's been so amazing to watch these relationships form and to think about how we can help and grow each other. Um, we have our uniqueness and we also have bridges that bring us together in beautiful ways from our faith. And like, there's nothing more that I can think of that we need as a society right now than building those relationships of trust. Church has an enlightenment and the teachings of a church can really help individuals or congregation progress. And I'm proud of the United Church, the advances and the openness we have to these discussions that, that many tend to follow. We've had many congregations contact us and say, how did you do this? How did it go? And what was the, the pushback? And, and we really didn't have any. So for Canada, as the peacemaking country of the world in many ways, I think our, our, the ante has been upped for us and members of different religions in, 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 the, in Canada to really continue to step up and do more than we thought would have been necessary five years ago. Being part of this congregation has prompted me to, to be better and being involved with Al Rasul, the indigenous community, the rabbis, has also just helped to, to make me a, a better person, citizen of the world.